Thanks for joining us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Brian Collar and I'm Ellis King. Tonight, the FDA is preparing to ease regulations for gay men wanting to donate blood. That's according to reports by both the Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal. The eligibility change would allow gay men in monogamous relationships to donate, meaning only those in sexual relations with one person would be allowed. In 2015, the FDA approved receiving donations from gay men who abstained from sex for at least a year. During the pandemic, there was a temporary lift, allowing men who didn't have sex with men for at least three months to donate. Now, reaction to this development is coming in tonight from LGBTQ plus organizations in our region. NBC5's Carolyn Sistrand joins us now from the newsroom with what they had to say. Carolyn. Alice organization was said it's a step forward, but there is still plenty of gray area on how to properly vet who and who does not qualify. Richard Elliott, the health and wellness coordinator with the Pride Center of Vermont says relationships aren't as easily defined as they are in a dictionary, meaning monogamous relationships don't often mean the same thing to everyone, regardless of the medical definition that is being used here by the healthcare community. For Elliott, it raises questions and concerns for him about how people are properly vetted to donate, but over Overall, believes that they need to keep making these strides forward so that people have the opportunity to donate when and if they want to. Think back in the 1980s where there were plenty of gay men who were, who were not HIV positive and not affected by AIDS that were like, like that were like shaking to like give their blood to like somebody else who actually needed it because of uh, a uh, physically traumatic experience, a medical emergency, or like something's going on. And just imagine that idea of like getting told that you cannot save a loved one because of who you choose to have sex with, who you choose to love. That is a very, very devastating. That is, that is very traumatic in and of itself. LGBTQ plus leaders say it's more common than people think for a couple in a monogamous relationship to also occasionally have other partners as well. Now, Kelly Metzgar, executive director of the Adirondack North Country Gender Alliance, also believes today's announcement helps reduce the stigma surrounding gay, man, gay men and this issue. But more should be done when it comes to safe blood donation practices, not only singling out one group. We have a much broader population who are sexually active, uh, sexually transmitting diseases, viruses, uh, and we have the whole STD area to look at. Why are they also not focused on bisexual people, lesbian women, pansexual people? Richard Elliott from the Pride Center of Vermont would also like to hear more about what impact these changes will have on transgender individuals, saying there isn't enough clear, inclusive language about how transgender men and women can give blood. The American Red Cross does have a guide on their website going over LGBTQ plus donor eligibility. We have that linked on our website, mynbc5.com. In the newsroom, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.